I say na me cause everything. So how you then come out? So this thing, but you know what you bring about. How many people go bring us? Let me save the ride every day alive. But that guy is not in Let me save him. Just in, the boat driver who piloted the boat, Junopo Daibe, with other crew members, finally speaks out while debunking every accusation that have been laid against him of being the one that caused the death of these actors for his lack of professionalism and negligence. On this video, he narrated everything that happened in the water and how he was able to save who he saved. Why saying that TC virus was actually lying, that he's the one that saved some people. Let's watch and see what really happened. Why, why, why not not get life jackets? They didn't they make a higher life jacket. No people say no get money. Say the that the producer is supposed to um, bring money where they use higher life jacket. So why not not producer? You don't understand. We call the producer. We call the producer. The producer said the thing no even there for script. Anything enter inside what only for script. You know, people no get to remember in that. Now make that in there for for boots, but you know, people no get to remember in that. I can wait to win Melinda. So, they say Gino Pop make video. You don't make any video. Gino Pop don't make any video. So, how, how did you manage to come out? The way we always manage to come out, man. As that thing happened, now see me now. Um, see that another guy now maybe a tattoo with a nang bell. I'm normally, you know, I forget about say today now, uh, this one, this one. That guy not supposed to nang bell for that day. You know what they call him? Uh, or for um, this one, this market one. Day. Uh, market day. Market day. That guy go to the nang bell. Mm. Me, I want to pass you the only nang bell. You know me. <laughs> Now I'm going to get everything comfortable. How you tell your manager to come out? And before they walk boats, now I know how to swim. I swim. You said you swim, but you know what you bring about. How many people are going to bring us? Let me save the right away there alive. But that guy is not in Seba. Let me save him. That declares he's not in Seba. Who enter? Just to carry my point. Who enter? We throw the men in the only shop oak. And for the right guys, we don't do one. They say they're the child of God. You understand? People go to the MEC. I'm going to cost everything. Some guy will come out. You guys are in the hospital. Who pays for the hospital bills? Now, Regina and this girl, the same thing. Now, we do nyash. See guys, from what I said earlier, there are two sides to every story. This guy just said his own part of the story, which TC also has also said his own part of the story. One thing is certain here, each and every one of them is lying in one way or the other. Why? Because they want to protect themselves or being pointed as the cause and mastermind behind the loss of these lives. But one thing is certain here, let's stop the blame game and move forward, finding the best way to improve Nollywood in general. Going further on this update, Junior Pupu was killed by our producers. This particular video is a 3 minutes video that exposes what has been going on in the movie industry on the aspect of Junior Pupu. It was said that he was blacklisted by producers, the top producers in Asaba, that made him scramble for gigs for years now, and he had to take up linear jobs that made him go into that river. If he had been getting jobs, getting busy, he wouldn't have stooped so low to go to Anam to go and shoot. A little amount of money. Here's what he has to say in a three minutes video exposing this producer to the movie industry. What killed Junior Pope is not even the boat capsized or something. No, that is not the ontological of his death. Junior Pope died many years ago. Yes, the major producers killed Junior Pope. When I saw Junior Pope, the way people outside see him is not the way he is in Nollywood. Our producers, they blacklisted him and so many others. Junior Pope don't see work in Asaba. Tana's revelation suggests that Junior Pope's demise was not merely a twist of fate, but a result of systematic oppression orchestrated by Asaba Wood producers who blacklisted him. Contrary to his status as a revered figure in the eyes of the public, Junior Pope remained a nobody in Asaba where his talent went unrecognized and unappreciated. While his peers were reaping the rewards of their stardom with lucrative deals worth millions, Junior Pope was left to scrap by receiving mere peanuts for his contribution. It is painful to learn that Junior Pope's struggle persisted for over three decades in the industry before he could afford to build a house. He hustled outside in Owere, Lagos to work, to put food on his table. Oh, if not for e-money, he money bought him his car, a good car, the one that he's using now for, for, for the past four years now, if I'm not mistaken. Everybody shouting, uh, Adam Maluk, Adam Maluk, Adam Maluk killed Gino Pope. How? Are you people, are you people giving him a job? Nobody's giving him a job. That's why he's going to Anam to shoot. Anam's reflection serves as a wake-up call, prompting reflection on the systematic issues plaguing the entertainment industry. Gino Pope's death is a very good reminder that behind every glamour's face lies a narrative of hardship and adversity, often overlooked in the pursuit of fame and fortune. And here I must say, as the industry grapples with this revelation, it is imperative to honor the legacy of Junior Pope's 
by addressing the underlying issues of exploitation and inequality. Only then can we ensure that aspiring talents are given the recognition and respect they deserve, free the shackles of oppression that once silence voices like Gina Pope. In respect to all that have been happening, actor Dev Obeni, who is also a Nollywood actor, had come out to explain the ordeal and uh, the incident that happened a day before this accident happened when he was with actor Junior Pope discussing and drinking after a football match. He wrote and said, on the day before this incident, we were drinking together after watching Asna Bayern Munich match. He said, Dave, I think it's time to tell the bloggers my story. I said, bro, it hasn't gotten to that. We can settle this without the world knowing. He looked me in the eyes and said, what do you mean? Since December, I am dying gradually. And you are telling me not to tell the world. If I die, you will be the one to tell the world my story then. Then he died the next day. I must say this is heartbreaking to actually hear about this. Who knows what he's actually battling? Although some posts are really going online saying that it's from his family, his wife precisely. But a Twitter guy made a post about his wife cheating, but later deleted it. At this point, we are yet to see the full details where these things are going. Dave Obweni is yet to drop any message on what he promised uh, uh, Junior Pope that he's going to tell the world if he is not alive to say it. Let's watch and see what unfolds at this moment. Going further on this update, it's been said this morning, Anam River is not happy and angry. The celebrity water is said to be requesting over two cows to appease him for defiling the water where the incident happened the other day that resulted to losing Juno Pope and other four crew members. I don't know, for some reason, they said the gods of the water are really angry. I don't know why they are so angry. We don't know what transpired in the boat that was crossing them. But for some reason, the people in charge of the water are angry, and that is why they have requested for two cows. Requested for two cows for, for sacrifice. They've requested for two cows for sacrifice. It's, this is becoming funny, and, but it's not funny actually. I don't know what to believe and not what to believe at this point in time. Why would they be requesting for two cows? Is it for the water or for them to just eat? Because I don't get. In as much as I, I believe in some kind of spiritual things, but on this aspect, I'm still so skeptical about it. But I will leave it to you to answer. Do you think this should be provided? <laughs> the two cows should be provided for appeasing of the water. Uh, if I thought they don't do it, what will happen? That's the other question. If they don't do this now, what will be the aftermath of them not appeasing the water? Will there be more lives lost? Guys, let me leave this to you. Drop your comments on what you think of the whole matter and banter online. About Nollywood in general. Drop your comment. Catch you in our next upload. Bye for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out.